Hi everyone, this is Muhammad Umar, medical diagnostic sonographer. In this video, I will show you how to scan patient for upper extremity deep venous thrombosis. I will start with linear pop 9 megahertz and also I can shift to 15 megahertz for superficial vessel. Now I will start with the internal jugular vein by putting the pop at the anterior neck. I will adjust the image setting, I reduce it again. I will check the compressibility of the right internal jugular vein and when I compress, it is totally compressible. We have here the right internal jugular vein and here we have the right common carotid artery. After that, I will scan the internal jugular vein on the sagittal plane to make sure there is no internal thrombus. Then I will apply the color box. I will steer the box until I have a good feeling. And now I will check the box web by applying the box web. And as we can see here, the internal jugular vein, because it's a center venous vessel, it has respiratory physicity and it has cardiac pulsatility. So here we have the cardiac pulsatility, then we have respiratory physicity. After that, then I will move to scan the subclavian vein by putting the bone at infraclavicular region. Here on the screen, we have two vessels. The one which is pulsatile, it will turn to be the subclavian artery, and the other one, it will be the subclavian vein. And here, in order to check the compressibility, you have to ask the patient to take deep inspiration and hold it. Take deep inspiration and hold it. That's good. As we can see, the vein is totally compressible. After that, we'll check the subclavian vein at center. Then we'll check it at mid. Then we'll follow it distal. By grayscale and also by applying the color. Just I keep steering until I have a good feeling. Then I will put the bulbs wave. Now we'll move to scan the axillary vein. Here at the axilla region. So you have to follow the subclavian and at the axilla it will turn to be the axillary vein. Now I think I'm over the axillary vein. There is I will check the compressibility and then I compress it's totally compressible. I will scan it on the longitudinal view. And then I will apply the color box. I think here we have to reduce the gain in order to reduce the noise. And we have to increase our scale. As you can see now, we reduce the noise. Now we check the box. I'll take it without color. We have a nice waveform. After that, at the arm, we have two vein to check. We have the brachial vein, which it will be having combined brachial artery. And we have other two superficial vein. The medial one, it will be the basalic vein. And the lateral one, it will be the cephalic vein. So here, I will try to use the highest frequency block that we have, the 15 megahertz and that it could help me to have the best image. In the upper arm, you have to define the brachial vein, which it will be 
the deep venous system, which it will be near to the brachial artery and the basilic, it will move superficial and away from the artery. When I start at the upper arm, as you can see here, we have this vessel now it divided to two vessels, and this one start to move away and superficial from the brachial artery. So this it will turn to be the basilic vein. Check the compressibility over the basilic vein at the upper arm. It's totally compressible. mid arm is totally compressible. I will check it at the lower arm and it's totally compressible. After you check the compressibility also you have to take it in the sagittal plane and apply the color and the pulse wave. And now I will back again to follow the brachial vein. Opposite to the lower extremity the brachial vein it might be two vein or sometimes one. So just you have to be aware about that. I think we have a two brachial vein. We have here one and here one. And here we have the combined brachial artery. So check the compressibility. Both totally compressible. Then I will check it at the mid arm. And both are compressible. Then I will try to check at the lower arm. Here we have the brachial vein one and here we have two and when I compress both totally compressible. After that also I will try to take both of them on the sagittal and with applying the color I will reduce the scale and increase the gain until I have a good feeling. Here we don't have good feeling. I will try to do this augmentation. When I do an augmentation, as we can see that we have a good feeling. I'll do it again. Here we have a good color feeling. Then you have to take it by both wave and so on. Okay, the last thing that we have to check when we are scanning patient for our DVT the cephalic vein which it will be lateral and also it is superficial vein. I will start here. Sometimes this superficial vessel maybe it is too attenuated and too small to detect. As we can see on the screen here, I will do zoom so that it will be clear for you. Here we have this superficial vein which it will be the cephalic vein. I will start to follow it from upper arm until mid arm and I will keep check the compressibility and it's totally compressible which means that there is no thrombus and then I will follow it until the lower arm. That's all of it for the upper venous DVT. You have to start with the internal jugular vein, then you will move to the subclavian, then to axillary. Then at the medial aspect of the arm, you have to visit the deep venous, it will be the brachial vein, and the superficial one, it will be the basilic vein. Most of the time, the brachial vein, it may be duplicated opposite to that, what we see on the lower extremity. Then you have to come on the lateral aspect of the arm to see the cephalic vein. So that all of it for today. For more video, you can follow us on the following account.